Hi, my name's Rachel Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. On this week's video, we're out and about in the very southwest of Cornwall, and I thought I'd take you through how I'm going to decide where there is a safe spot for me to swim. So, Cookie and I are uh, out and about for a walk, and it's approaching low tide, so that'll give me a really good indication of what's underneath the water and help me pick a safe spot. So this morning's dog walk is from Newlyn, where we're staying, over to Mousel, spelt mouse hole for people who are not local. Um, and I'm really hopeful there'll be something along here. Maybe not for today because the wind will be in a not a great direction today. But what I am noticing, as you'll see behind me, is just how rocky it is. I knew it was rocky but I'm sure I'm going to find somewhere to swim and I think I've spotted a tidal pool over in Mausel. So let's get another little look-see. Well, I've just come across three very friendly swimmers who you can just see walking off in the, in the background over there. And uh, they've pointed out that they're going to be getting in just down here. I saw, I did see a little set of steps. So let's have a little look what their swim is going to look like. So they're going to head down the little steps and they're going to hop in just down there. You see the little bay just above my head? That's a good one, that's nice and close. Might be using that one later in the week. But we'll carry on towards Mazel to see if we can spot any other possibilities. I have already been told by a, fishing, uh, by a guy who's looking for fishing spots that they've just seen some um, uh, they've just seen some people swimming with tow floats and uh, I guess we'll go and spot where they are. I suspect they might be near Penley Point. On we go. Well, it's still all very rocky, but I have spotted what I thought was the tidal pool, and it's just over here. Let's go and have a look at that. Now, aside from the tide pool, I've spotted there could be a little entrance just here. Might not be able to see that, but there's a little flat bit where there are just a few rocks to get in. So at least you can get in through that gap in the big rocks. Um, and maybe have a bit of a swim. We'll go down and investigate. Cookie will love being off the lead down there. Now, underfoot, it's pretty gooey. You might be able to see Cookie wading in it. Uh, so this little kelp area might not be my top choice for getting in. Although Cookie seems quite amused by it. Let's go and take a look at this tidal pool. That looks pretty good. Pretty atmospheric. I don't know what the island is either, but that looks pretty interesting. Oh, just checking. We're okay. Well, it's fairly easy to get over to. I'm now wondering at what state of the tide this is good. We're at low tide now. Let's see if we can walk all the way around it. Hopefully without falling in. If I go this way, you'll get a better view. Oops. So it looks like a little bit of a slip and slide to get in. That looks like a bum swoosh in, I think. Come on in. 
as you can see it's pretty slippery it's maybe one for uh, sitting in and contemplating I think but I'm up for a bit of that it's super clear though like a giant and pretty tame rock pool one for the goggles to get on really easy to get to as well and if I was coming by car parking's only just up the top here so quite easy walk down there that's pretty cool there's even a little cafe here let's carry on around to Little Harbour and see what else we've got oh wow it looks like um, people come here to balance rocks there's quite a few of them I can imagine you could get lost in that activity with uh, a little snack and a little drink in hand. We haven't got either, so we'll carry on. Well, there's a very sandy harbour here, so I guess at high water, so long as it uh, didn't impede anyone, that might be a possibility too. And with cafes everywhere. Another possibility. We're racking them up here on this little walk. Well, this is pretty interesting. It says this is the Fitz, Fitzroy barometer and that it was loaned to Mausel in 1854 by the founder of the Meteorological Society, Admiral Fitzroy. And the idea was to give um, the data to the Met Office and uh, to improve storm warnings, but also for the fishermen to know about impending weather and to reduce the loss of life. So looking at it, just here, it says it's about 16 or 17 degrees, I'd, I'd probably agree. It's uh, pretty warm with a bobble hat on, but my hair's all over the place. And I'm um, quite sure I can read this one so well. Hmm. Quite sure what we're getting from this one. These are the signs we're looking for. Now look here, I found a list of things you're not allowed to do in the harbour. So on the basis of um, elimination, I'm going to say I might have a little swim here at some stage. But not with the dog, obviously. On a flat day, this might be an option um, because the stones and things are nicely rounded off, so it's not really going to spike yourself. Um, sand would be nicer, but it's an option. The dog's allowed down here, so I think... Just having to concentrate a bit here. I think this little one and a half mile walk from Newlyn to Mausel has revealed three or four more swim spots so we had the one that I saw where the ladies were heading down to then the bit with the squelchy kelp next to the tidal pool then the tidal pool itself for a little um, dip and float then the beachy bit within the harbour maybe and then this one that's not a bad count and I did also spot one other one just on the outside of the old harbour at Newlyn yesterday so that's pretty handy um, because uh, parking's quite a premium around here and actually it's quite nice to be able to go just walking. So having seen it all at low tide, I'm pretty happy that those areas I've, I've checked out would be pretty good for a swim. The wind is due to pick up 
on shore though, so it might not be today that I go there, but I'll certainly be checking a few out and uh, let's see how we find them. I've just noticed this pipe on the floor. Can you see that? The dog's very interested. Uh, so it's a broken metal pipe, which is actually quite rounded off now um, from probably from these stones battering about on it. But that's the kind of thing that I'm checking out when I come down for a, a low water scout somewhere I've never been before. I'm looking for sorts of things that are either embedded in the rocks or strewn across the beach that might uh, catch me out and I might injure myself because nobody needs cut feet or battering themselves on, on rocks they didn't know were there. So it's only really, it's never going to be foolproof checking out a, a beach at low water, but it at least gives me some ideas of, uh, of what's under the water and whether or not I think it's safe enough for me to get in. This morning's the morning. I'm going to go and give it a little go in the water down here. Go and check out one of those swim spots that I saw. The sun's at least shining, um, although it was due to be windy, I think the area I'm going to swim in is fully in the shade from the wind. So there might be a few waves, but it should be a pretty nice time in the water. Just going for a little dip before breakfast. <sighs> Sun on your face. It's been a few days. For this morning's swim then, I've plumped for the one that I saw the locals going to. I've just had a peek over the top and it looks like there's somebody already in. And what I really found appealing was it's down this little path here. And I do love, I do love a little tunnel. Ooh. I want to catch my hat on it though. Wow, out we pop. Well, this looks cracking. Uh, could be a bit of a bum slide down. I won't do that on camera, but I'm going to get in just here because it looks like that's the bit with the least rocks. Although I can see someone tarrowing off on some rocks, but not knowing the area and having looked at this at low tide, that's the bit that has the least rocks. So that's the bit I'm getting in. in. around and I'm uh, and I chat to a local and I'm fairly happy that I'm going to get in just along this rock line here where he told me it's sandy on the foot now that as you know wouldn't normally be an issue for me but despite mooching about and faffing for ages by the car I managed to leave my booties in the car so it's a barefoot game this morning something that always makes me feel nervous but um, at least the stones are quite rounded off so it shouldn't hurt my toes too much. Quite an interesting little spot this, Newlyn. I'm taking a look out and I can see there's a couple of, there's a trawler going out. There's also the Salonian Ferry, which goes over to the Isles of Scilly. Um, imagine they're in for a bit of a juicy ride once they get uh, a bit further out. Without any further ado, let's go get in. another swimmer getting in where the other guy did that must be the local spot <laughs> I was a bit nervous about it though because it's in straight off the rocks but looking at it there's less movement of water so maybe that would have been a better choice maybe that's my get out So 
So what I'm doing here is just spotting where I got in. I got into the just by these rocks here, underneath that last little house, because I don't want to be running in over anything else that I didn't get in over a few minutes ago. I just had a little chat with a local over there. He's out to her skip. And it seems that her getting is definitely better than mine. And I think my exit's going to be a little sporting just now. Still though, see a delectation, I will catch it on camera. <laughs> Let's hope I survive up the ice on this one. Like your neighbor space coming up here. <sighs> Must be doing that. Getting thrashed over on this on little puddles. Or indeed into the rocks. So I'm just cutting along to the middle of the bay to come in. Here goes. Oh my god, stones underfoot. Did a little push and skip forwards. <laughs> Pushing and skipping over some stones. Good help, snack. <laughs> well, ah, the down. Down. Oh. That's an exit that the uh, my chiropractor is going to benefit from. Not my finest exit, and um, probably one of my sorest. my breakfast now <laughs> well now I'm uh, back and dressed and feeling quite a bit more comfortable than uh, during that slightly less graceful exit uh, I've had a chance to have a little think about some things I've learned from this morning's swim it's always good to have some takeaways and I think my number one takeaway is spend a little bit more time looking at your precise get-in so when I swam up and spoke to that lady who got in, I'd also spoken to a guy who'd got in somewhere around there this morning. And I thought, yeah, I'll be all right. He says it's sandy. I might bend my toes a bit getting in. Um, but I hadn't really considered that just in a, about a two foot wave, that that was going to really take me off my feet and bang me onto a rock, which I can now see in the foreshore. Not surprised that hurt a bit. Um, so, it wasn't a dangerous exit or entry, it was okay, um, but I could have done better if I'd walked a little bit further along and then got in gently off the rocks. I guess my worry was getting in off the rocks, but looking at those, they're slightly, uh, slightly at a different angle to the wind, so there isn't, uh, the waves aren't breaking on it, you just see them kind of lapping up and along it. So that would have been a gentler ent entry. So I'll bear that in mind if I pop down here again shortly. Anyway, I'm really chuffed that I brought some breakfast along, so I'm going to have my um, coffee, hot cross bun and a few grapes. Yum. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video and seen how I go to check out a swim spot in a place that I don't know. Um, ask the, I ask the locals, I have a look at low tide and uh, then I take in the conditions on the day. Anyway, I hope this video has given you a bit of a chuckle with me having that little trip over and banging my bum and uh, that it's uh, put a smile on your face. If it has, please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking on my face and dinging the bell and you'll know when the next one's out. Ooh. And I'll see you next time. Bye.